The journey of Indian cinema commenced holding the hands of an Anglo-Indian by the name Stephens. The passion of films in the Indian heart and soul was induced as he began to screen short films in the famed Star Theatre of then Calcutta and at present Kolkata around 1897. Being inspired during this time, the first Bengali filmmaker was carried away with the splurging waves of cinema. He was Hiralal Sen. But perhaps a little earlier, around 1896, a Belgian Jesuit priest presented a film in front of students and professors of Calcutta. It was a fascinating scientific invention to his audience. This passionate scientist and renowned educationist was Reverend Father Eugene Lafont. As a fervent scientist of physics, he is one of the leading names among the science researchers of India. While Hiralal Sen explored in search of a competent teacher, it was Reverend Father Eugene Lafont who taught him the intricacies of the magic lantern. It was since then that St. Xavier's has become an integrated part in the historical journey of Indian cinema. Among the notable students, Raj Kapoor, Shashi Kapoor, Himanshu Rai, Raichad Boral, Utpal Dotto, Victor Banerjee, Rahul Dev Borman, Onil Chatterjee, Shambhu Mitra, Dhritiman Chatterjee, N. Vishwanathan, Rama Prashad Bonik. Distinguished directors, Shandip Rai, Ashok Vishwanathan, Orindam Shil, famous actors Prashanjit Chatterjee, Khoraj Mukherjee, music directors Debujuti Mishra, Bikram Ghosh are all alumni of this institution. Among the stalwart authors who have contributed several classical masterpieces, scripts and stories are outstanding Zavarians such as Rabindranath Tagore and Tarashankar Bandupadhyay. Another priest and professor of St. Xavier's College, Reverend Father Gastor Berj, along with Oscar-winning film director Shottujit Rai, had researched on films that were of international standard. Reverend Father Ruberj has gone down in the film history of India as the founder of the first film institute and archive, Chitravani, that has developed as a part of St. Xavier's College, Kolkata. Indian cinema and the cinema of this subcontinent shall ever remain grateful to St. Xavier's Kolkata.